I call them chicken wings! If you're a wing fan and you live in the right area, chances are that you've ordered from Wingstop and were completely satisfied. However, if you're not lucky enough to live near a Wingstop, well, we're here to tell you that you are massively missing out. Maybe you need to plan a road trip to get some. We don't know how much free time you have on your hands, but Wingstop is the kind of place that can make a wing lover out of just about anyone. So have plenty of napkins ready as we look at the top 10 untold truths about Wingstop. Honey Mark, get set. Go! Wingstop was established in 1994. Chicken wings, you're doing them differently. Let's look at the ingredients. The 90s were a wild time, but 1994 in particular was a newsworthy year. The music world lost a legend with the death of Kurt Cobain, the films The Shawshank Redemption and Forrest Gump both hit theaters, and Bill Clinton's first term in office was in its second year. A lot of other things happened in 1994, but one of the most important things to happen probably gets buried under all of the political, celebrity, and international news. That that big thing happening was the opening of the very first Wingstop. The restaurant opened its doors in Garland, Texas in 1994. You might think that means that Wingstop is lacking direction and not sure what to do with itself like all 24-year-olds. However, this chicken wing restaurant has already been growing steadily and expanding from its Texan roots. The first Wingstop franchise location opened in 1997. It has continued to grow since its inception. It just goes to show that any idea can take off, even a restaurant that serves wings with an aviation theme on the walls. It's actually pretty perfect when you think about it. We associate wings with flying, so the marketing gimmick sells itself. It's also a somewhat ironic joke as chickens are famously bad at flying. Either way, it seems that Wingstop won't stop anytime soon. <laughs> chickens don't fly. Liking this video so far? I just love chicken wings so much. Well, if it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to join our notification squad. Next stop, more Wingstop. We out here, ain't we? <laughs> Wingstop features 11 flavors of wings. Anytime you put Spanish in the hot sauce, it's, it's legit. 11 flavors, you may be asking incredulously. I can only think of, at most, like six flavors. You might also be saying, how can a wing place have 11 flavors? I refuse to believe it. Well, believe it you must. After all, Wingstop wouldn't be much of a wing joint if they didn't offer their patrons a collection of bold flavors that made them stand out from the pack. You might not be able to name 11 flavors, but trust us when we say that Wingstop Wingstop is offering that many. Wingstop sauces vary from sweet to spicy and mild to hot. They include Hawaiian, lemon pepper, garlic parmesan, hickory smoked barbecue, mild, Louisiana rub, spicy Korean barbecue, original hot, Cajun, mango habanero, and atomic. Now, if all of those wing flavors sound delicious to you, then you definitely need to stop in and try them. Order all of the flavors all at once and see which one is your favorite. However, don't blame us if you like all of them equally and have to order all of them every time you go. The thing about selling wings is that the wing itself is just a vessel for the sauce. Sure, the wing is important. It should be meaty, crispy, and cooked just right. However, it's really the sauce that makes the wing. If that flavor isn't there, then you are missing out on a big part of eating wings. I think you can't resist me. Troy Aikman was the Wingstop spokesman. Not so fast, Jerry. Now, this should be based on merit, and I am the official spokesman of Wingstop. A good way to legitimize your business is to have a great spokesman, someone who can endear the public to your product and let them know that, hey, I'm a famous person and I love these, so you would probably love them too. Well, Wingstop knew this and went out of their way to get a great spokesman. It wasn't some guy who won a bunch of wing-eating contests either, although that guy probably would make a great spokesman as well. Wingstop's first public spokesman was none other than NFL Hall of Famer Troy Aikman. That's right, Aikman himself represented Wingstop and touted the virtues of their delicious wares. That's a pretty good get for a Texas business, considering that Aikman led the Dallas Cowboys to three Super Bowl victories. If anyone should be saying your wings are great, it's probably the MVP of Super Bowl 27. A great spokesman isn't just a celebrity who has never even heard of the product they are selling. A great spokesman should always believe in the product. Not only that, but they should have tried it at least once. Troy Aikman seems like an upstanding guy, so if he says that Wingstop is the place to go for wings, well, who are we not to believe him, right? What do you mean, you people? 
more than 1,000 locations in 12 countries. No, no red stamp. Green. I'm green in New York. Okay, yes. You say yes. 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 To be a successful business, you have to build and expand. If you only have a handful of locations, or even just one singular location, you're never going to make it in the world. Unless you're a local hotspot which does great business just based on the local population and tourism. Wingstop understands this philosophy. Sure, they might have started out in Garland, Texas, but they haven't let that stop themselves from expanding outwards and reaching whole new markets that other restaurants aspire to get to. Currently, Wingstop has over 1,000 locations in six different countries. That's a lot of different countries to be able to find a Wingstop. No matter where you go, you'll be able to dive right into the flavors you love. Who knows? Maybe those international locations even have their own flavors inspired by the locale. A business needs to grow and show the world that it can thrive in any location. Wingstop has been doing that for the last few years, and they are continuing to explore their international opportunities. That means that no matter where you live, in the next few years, you might see a Wingstop in your neighborhood. There's three, four, they're everywhere! Wingstop exclusively serves chicken. That's not a good enough offer for me. Some places like to diversify their products. Sure, this place sells burgers, but you can also get pizza, tacos, and souvlaki, they say. While this works for some places, it's rare that a restaurant can do everything perfectly. They usually have one specialty item, but fall short on everything else. That then becomes their weakness, and they need to scale themselves back, which can cost them money in the long run. Well, Wingstop has never had that problem, and it's for one good reason. Wingstop exclusively sells chicken. That's it. That's what makes them so popular. Diners don't have to try and decide between the famous wings and a burger or a pita or anything else. They can get wings, boneless wings, or chicken strips. That's it. What else do you need, though? The restaurant is called Wingstop for Pete's sake. Even serving chicken strips would seem like going too far to some people. However, the restaurant does it, and they have succeeded, mostly due to their limited menu. You don't need to gild the lily when it comes to wings. Just do what you do best. You're the best, Devin. You can order Wingstop by text message. Here he comes, here he comes. In this day and age, a lot of people don't want to pick up the phone. It's easy to understand, really. Talking on the phone has always been awkward for some people. In fact, the actual phone function of people's smartphones is likely the last thing they use when trying to communicate with someone. They're much more likely to send a text. Wingstop, once again proving their business savvy, figured this out and implemented a new ordering system. You can now order their delicious wings by text message. That's right. The restaurant introduced a system that sends you text messages with menu options. You simply text back the letter corresponding to your choice, and the restaurant gets the order. It's clear as day, easy to use, and you have a text record of your order in case anything goes wrong with it. This is another lesson that some restaurants could take from Wingstop. If you want to court the next generation and keep them coming back, then offer them easier ways to order than having to call in and say their entire order over the phone. No one has ever enjoyed doing that, which is why every time a group of friends is ordering a pizza, there's a debate over who has to call. Just implement this kind of system and you are golden. You have no one else to call. <laughs> Wingstop has an online ordering service. We are in the internet. Wingstop continues their leaps into the future with their online ordering option. A lot of places have adopted the ability to order your food online, much for the same reasons listed earlier. People just don't want to have to make a phone call anymore. They would much rather take their time, figure things out on their own, see their order going up in front of their eyes, and see exactly how much it will cost. It's a system that, surprisingly, was not picked up by businesses a lot sooner than this. Wingstop takes it even further into the future with their online ordering option. Rather than just allow Allowing people to click through the menu and pick out what they want, they have introduced something called Wingbot. With Wingbot, customers can actually feel like they are having a conversation with someone while they're ordering food, without having to pick up the phone. Wingbot can even be reached through Facebook Messenger, the company website, or even Twitter. It also has just been programmed to work with Alexa as well. You don't know how to make a grilled cheese sandwich. Its name is the recipe! So if you ever want to order wings, but also feel like you're living in the future, a great way to do that is to contact Wingbot at Wingstop. We may not have flying cars or meals that come in pill form, but hey, at least we can order food from a computer program that is also quite friendly. Thank you for being here tonight. It's very exciting to have you here. The Wingstop founders also created Pizza Patron. You're my new boss. Uh, 
I guess so. You might think that the founders of Wingstop, Antonio Swad and Bernadette Fischetti, would have only ever opened one successful chain of locations. After all, lightning rarely strikes twice, and the same goes for business. It's not that often that someone has two businesses which end up being truly successful. Well, hold on to your hats, because we're here to tell you that these two entrepreneurs already had a business before hitting it big with Wingstop. Swad and Fischetti had already opened a chain of pizza restaurants known as Pizza Patron. This popular pizza restaurant may not have hit the same high as Wingstop, but it is still incredibly popular in the regions it serves, which include Arizona, California, Illinois, and Texas. Pizza Patron prided itself on its inclusivity and often caters to the Latin American neighborhoods where they are predominantly located. It has come under criticism from conservative groups for its promotions, which included a free pizza for ordering in Spanish <laughs> and letting customers pay for pizza in pesos. Despite the criticism of these policies, they ended up being hugely successful and drove huge profits for the company. The chain is still going strong. In 2017, the founders sold the company and have moved on to other ventures. Swad is developing a new restaurant chain, and Fischetti has her own syndicated radio show. That's pretty good for some folks who just wanted to serve people wings and pizza. Get busy living or get busy dying. The Wingstop Twitter account is great. I'm not on Twitter. I know what you're talking about. Pretty much every company on Earth has their own Twitter account now. The only problem is that a lot of them don't actually know how to use it. Is that like texting? No. They put absolutely no effort into making themselves known online, being funny, or engaging with their customer base. A few companies, such as Wendy's, who have one of the most famously ridiculous corporate Twitter accounts, have broken the code and figured out how to advertise through their social media presence in a way that doesn't feel like advertising. Another company that has figured out how to play the game on Twitter is Wingstop. They have successfully used their account to make their product seem fun and exciting, while also engaging with their followers by utilizing memes and specific specifically popular tweet structure. Other companies could take a page out of Wingstop's book. They've probably hired a young person to handle their Twitter account, and it's paying off. They are reaching a whole new group of customers that other companies are falling behind on. You're gonna be great. Wingstop has served over one billion wings. Oh my god, he's gonna blow! Imagine a hundred chicken wings. That seems like a pretty big pile, right? Okay, let's keep going. Imagine 1,000 wings. All right, things are getting out of control, but if you were having a party or a banquet, that would probably be more than enough. How about a million wings? All right, now things are getting really out of control. That's too many wings. Well, we're not stopping there. Imagine one billion with a B wings. Is your mind blown? <laughs> Well, put it back together because we have to tell you something. Wingstop has sold over 1 billion wings during their lifetime. It looks like we might have just blown your mind again, but we totally understand. That is insane, right? A billion is a number that you hear a lot when referring to money or the number of people on Earth, but never in reference to wings. Well, it's the truth. Wingstop has sold enough wings to give one to an entire seventh of the population of Earth. A million dollars isn't cool. You know what's cool? A billion dollars. Stick around, grab some wings, and then click on one of our other great videos. And do you want to become an official Babbel Topper? Just click on the join link in the description below for more details. Thanks to Dre121B More for suggesting this video.